Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to install SQL Server 2017. Okay, click on setup.exe, click on yes, Now click on installation tab and click on new SQL server standalone installation or add feature to an existing installation. Here I am installing developer edition of SQL Server 2017. You can also install evolution edition or express edition. And if you have a key, you can enter it here. So here I am installing developer edition. Click on next. Accept license terms and click on next. Here we have to choose the feature which we are going to install. So I am choosing database engine services, SQL server application, full text, semantic extraction, data quality, polybase analysis, and I am leaving machine learning. And on shared feature, I am installing data quality, integration, client. all of the other feature except machine learning I am installing all of the feature and it will take around 4.5 GB on your desk this is the instance root directory and this is directory for the shared feature for x86 click on next Here I am installing default instance of SQL Server and if you want to install named instance you can click on this and uh, you have to provide the name instance name ok now click on next this is the polybase configuration I am leaving it as default click on next this is server configuration and I am leaving it this also as default click on next for database engine services for SQL configuration I am for authentication mode I am using windows authentication mode for that I am adding the current user if you want to install SQL Server in mix mode with the SQL Server authentication and Windows authentication you have to provide SA password here and these are our data directory these use for uh, backup and this is the temp DB location ok now click on next I am adding current user for analysis services click on next this is for integration services scale out configuration so I am leaving it default for now click on next I am leaving it default right now click next add current user for distributed replay controller and click on next I am leaving this also as 
default for the distributed replay client click next okay this is the summary which we are going to install and now click on install it will take uh, a few minutes to install okay so right now I am pausing the video here and will get back once the installation is done okay friend welcome back as you are seeing that our SQL Server 2000 installation is about to install Okay, and finally our SQL Server 2017 has been successfully installed. Okay, close. And one more thing is that on SQL Server 2017, we have to install separately SQL Server Management Studio. As you can see that. when you see we, we are not able to find any management studio here in tools as I am already installed SQL Server Management Studio for 2017 okay I I think I have uninstalled that no problem we can install okay this is SMS SSMS from Microsoft we have to download it separately and install it separately Okay, click on yes. okay now click on install right now it is loading packages welcome back friend as you can see that our SQL Server Management Studio installation is done okay now click on close
okay now click on connect and we are able to connect our SQL server these are the by default three databases that's a DW configuration DW diagnostics and DW queue and as you can see this there's a new UI in our SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, friend, thank you. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe for more videos like this. Have a nice day.